does it again. Like ten times. <laughs> It's the great truth. Uh, um, in a democracy, and I'll, I'll, I'll include your little wet and beautiful uh, gem of an aisle in that, uh, you have, what is it called? I believe they're called they're the, uh, the four estates. You must have a political wing. You must have a, you must have a, a, a spiritual estate. You must have, I'm going to say an educational or perhaps a military. Is it? But you must also have a free press. It is, one of, it is one of the pillars that holds up the concept of codified liberty that guarantees all of us the same rights and the same opportunities. Uh, this, that, that we had a, in 1971, it was a full on assault on the freedom of the press, the First Amendment. We're experiencing more of a guerrilla warfare on, on that very, uh, on that very tenet of uh, what makes us free right now. <laughs> day comes and you realize that she's just trying really hard. The problem I had was she's always attended by these two guys in liveried costumes, top hats, and they play these trumpets every time she comes into a room or leaves the room. You got to get used to that. Uh, and she, no one is allowed to look her in the eye for the first 20 minutes of every day. Once, once you get into the half hour or so and the trumpet guys sit down for coffee, she's just like you or I. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you.